Importantly, when we look at the new ecosystem for tourism with blockchain, we need to go back to that fundamental question of for what purpose? Exactly as what Samara said, why are we doing this? If there's all of this excitement and all of this energy, how is it going to help the sector? How is it going to help the global community? Because as our next speaker says, at the end of the day, our core purse's purpose is always to make this world a better place. So with that, it is my great pleasure to give to the stage, to give you to the stage, Dr. Taylor Briefi, the Secretary General of the World Tourism Forum Institute, the former Secretary General of the UNWTO, and my former boss. Please. Thank you, everybody. Good morning. Sabah al khair. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to start by welcoming His Excellency, President Francois Hollande, Senior President, Monsieur President, bien merci for your being with us today. France is a very important country to us in the travel and tourism industry. After all, it's number one in the world in terms of number of international arrivals. Almost 90 million arrived to France only in one year, 2019. I also want to thank Sumaira and Balut, their wonderful couple. Thank you so much, Balut, for being with us and organizing this. I also want to thank Ariva. Ariva is a very good partner for us. It is very important for him here in Dubai. Dubai is very important to us, Mr. President, because Dubai it's one of the few countries in the world that has embraced blockchain. Dubai and Switzerland, they have so much in common. My dear friends, blockchain technology and tourism is here to stay and set to reshape the travel and hospitality industry globally. And we better get ready for it. Digital technology and tourism has a profound impact on any industry, let alone ours. It rapidly changes the behavior both suppliers and consumers rumors in the market. Accordingly, innovative technology in travel and tourism empowered spare consumer transactions by deterring possible asymmetry information. Users these days can handily browse through trusted information on internet with contribution from many sources. My dear friends, today's users cannot be manipulated by one side information coming from media or from one supplier. My friends, from the user's perspective, digital technology and tourism has a profound impact. It heavily impacts the decision-making of new millennium, Generation Z and Alpha, who are technologically savvy and passionate travelholics. Also, this generation has financial capacity today to pursue their interest. Hence, social media, mobile blockchain technology, and crypto and digital wallets are set to become the norm for users, travel and tourism industry. Like in all other industries, the use of technologies such as Internet of Things, location-based services, artificial intelligence, augmented and virtual reality, and blockchain technology has resulted in a more appealing, efficient, inclusive, and economically social, environmentally sustainable tourism. After all, than even before, today a major disruptor with the number of global crypto millionaires increasing to more than 100,000 in 2021. There is a sizable interest displayed by this ever-growing community in using their crypto gains to indulge in a new experience, it's travel and tourism. Travel opened the minds, opened the hearts, opened the eyes. It is especially designed for young travelers. Travel and tourism industry stands to benefit the most from this growing class of heightened travelers who want to fulfill their traveling desire with a highly personalized service enabled through the use of popular cryptocurrency as legal tender. Moreover, with millenniums representing more than 50% of the global luxury market potential and 58% of the crypto investor community by volume brands and services involved, global luxury tourism markets are increasingly adopting crypto today at an incredibly high rate. In a bid to attract this growing class, my friends, not only for travelers, but also for, for investors, 
and to make their systems more efficient. Travel firms are argumenting efforts to adopt blockchain technology that lies at the core of crypto assets. Examples of blockchain applications could be one, easier payment, reduce, eliminate, need to exchange currency. Two, strong sharing important information. Blockchain is a decentralized system. Three, identification passport services. In theory, we could have everyone. Identification details, secure on an open secure blockchain, eliminating the need for passports or visas to travel across the borders. Therefore, the issue of visas and entry to any destination is a good example. We could start by encouraging gov governments to look for a different form of passports and or visas, one that's more secure, reliable, and more friendly for our young travelers consume. A blockchain travel document. My dear friends, as the blockchain technology will enable tourism-focused companies to facilitate crypto transactions, place of services, create efficient loyalty programs that reward their users and even tokenize physical assets such as resource space in the form of non-fungible NFTs. In fact, with the rise of metaverse, blockchain technology will be instrumental in conveying hurting popular and niche travel destinations to their digital avatar, avatars. The possibilities are endless, and the primary reason why any tourism players, either considering or already in the bandwagon, we as an industry stand to cast of major innovation and disruption at the same time. Only time can tell if these are permanent or not, good or not. What's important at this point is that we as an industry leader need to acknowledge the trend and work towards an innovate, facilitating the right, right framework and partnership so the industry can adopt, benefit from it. This new era of digital, I believe it is here to stay. To stay. I want to finally thank the World Travel Forum and Avatar for taking this first historic critical step by forging such a partner in the form Global Tourism Forum block, Blockchain for Travel Conference here in Dubai. As I said, Dubai is a very important place for us. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for being a bit low in my voice. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.